Social media and being online generally can be a great way for kids to keep in touch with friends and an important support for them during challenging times. But the online world also has risks. Hi, I'm Deb. This video has tips on how you can encourage positive online habits and support your child if something online is impacting their mental well-being. Our first tip is to talk regularly with your child about how what they see online can affect their mood and well-being. You can make a habit of asking them to show you what they like on apps they use like YouTube, TikTok or Instagram and on their gaming platforms. Also, talk to them about your own online experiences. You can let them know it's normal to have emotional reactions to things they see online. These regular chats can make it easier for them to tell you if they've seen something that has made them feel uncomfortable or upset and whether they use settings to better control what content they receive. For example, group chats can be stressful, especially when they're posting 24 seven with their friends. Suggest turning off notifications so they can have a break when things get a bit much, especially on social media. Talk with your child about what safe online behavior is and how to manage negative experiences. Also, how they can report content or block users. You can check the e-safety guide together for helpful tips about adjusting the settings. Now, when it comes to gaming, eight out of 10 young people enjoy it, especially the social connection, and it can help relieve stress. But gaming can also come with negative talk and frustration, and your child may be contacted by people wanting to harm them. You could try playing the games with your kids and chat to them about how they manage any problems. eSafety has more advice for parents and carers on gaming and other topics. Just go to eSafety.gov.au and click on the Parents tab. Keep in mind that it's important for the young people in your life to know that they can come to you without fear of getting in trouble if they're experiencing something online that's serious, whether it's upsetting or they just have questions about it. Remember, you may not have all the answers, but they need to know that you're interested and there to support them. Explain that you won't be angry or stop them using their device if they tell you something personal. You can also suggest other people or organisations they could talk to if they're worried about telling you. And if your child does tell you something that they've seen online is impacting how they feel, try to understand their experience and reassure them that it's okay to have an emotional response. If the experience involves their friends, tell them why other adults might need to be involved, especially if the person is harming themselves or talking about it. You could say, I know you're worried that your friend will be angry with you for telling me, but it was the right thing to do. You're a good friend for caring about their safety. You could ask the school about counselling and how to contact the school psychologist, or you can visit the eSafety website for information about counselling and support. Kids Helpline, Headspace, Reach Out and the Butterfly Foundation all have excellent resources for parents and young people who are dealing with issues like mental health challenges or body image. It's also normal for parents and carers to feel strong emotions, especially when their child's dealing with mental health issues. But it's really important to respond in a calm and helpful way. Parents who've experienced their child in a challenging situation often find it useful to talk about what's going on. Parent Line, Reach Out, Beyond Blue, Q Life and Kids Helpline can all give you support. I hope you found this video helpful. There are plenty more tips on our website at esafety.gov.au. You can also subscribe to our newsletter to keep up to date with the latest research and advice.